Hi, this is Jack again, one of the founders of KickShark in Nashville, Tennessee, and the developer of the Solo Amp personal sound call. I want to talk to you for just a minute about using uh, the Solo Amp in what situations, what we recommend, and what we've uh, proven out through lots and lots of live demonstrations and testing. Uh, first of all, uh, the number one question that comes up all the time is uh, if I'm a singer or a guitarist, do I need uh, the companion solo amp sub, subwoofer system? And the answer is no. The solo amp's frequency response was specifically engineered over a period of years to extend down to 80 hertz uh, with no neg with negligible fall. Why 80 hertz? Because that's the low E strength on a guitar. Uh, and it's also well below the human vocal range. And we knew that if we could stay rock solid down to 80 hertz before we began to have any real fall off, uh, which then does happen at, uh, down to about 65 hertz where we have a hard filter. Uh, but it's in that very important 65 to 80 hertz range where uh, solo amp holds up very well, especially remarkably considering its size, and as well as and better than any other product in its category, including some very expensive products. So here's your answer. If you're a guitarist, electric, or acoustic, uh, or any other string or wind instrument, uh, that the lowest frequency uh, is at or above 80 hertz, then no, you don't need the solo amp sub. Uh, even if you want one, we'd not recommend that you buy it. It's a, bit, it'd be a waste of money. There's no, there's no discernible difference in the sound. Uh, if you're a vocalist, you don't need the solo amp sub. However, if you do want to play house music or backing tracks, you're a DJ uh, and, of course, perform full range music with an expectation of strong bass. Uh, if you're a keyboard player or uh, you're even a bass guitarist, uh, this is a remarkable, extensible, modular system that we've created. The magic to that is this simple looking line output port here on the back of the solo amp. You can uh, go from this XLR to the XLR input on the solo amp sub, and then from the output of the solo amp sub to another sub to as many as six solo amp subs. And I guess I would be into the extreme range of DJ at that point, or uh, a very large venue for the bass guitarist. But with one sub and one solo amp, you have a very nicely balanced, full range uh, audio reproduction system that extends very smoothly from about 35 hertz at the very bottom to over 16.5 kilohertz at the very top. Uh, so the, the recommended full range implementation for a solo amp system would be if you only play guitar, electric, or acoustic and sing, then just the top just the solo amp. Uh, if you do more than that, uh, that includes lower frequency full range music, then add the sub. If you're a keyboard player, we recommend two subs with one solo amp. If you're a bass guitar player, depending on the size of the venue, we recommend three or four uh, sub units with uh, one solo amp. And so there's my recommendations for how to configure your own solo amp system. Uh, thank you for your time and attention.